Muhammad Yusuf Khan, born December 11, 1922, better known as Dilip Kumar, is an Indian film actor, producer, screenwriter and activist, known for his work in Hindi cinema. Popularly known as the Tragedy King and the First Khan, he has been credited with bringing realism to film acting since his first film which was released in 1944. Kumar debuted as an actor in the film JWAR Bada 1944, produced by Bombay Takis. In a career spanning over six decades, Dilip Kumar worked in over 65 films. Kumar is known for roles in films such as The Romantic Andaz 1949, The Heartwarming Babul 1950, The Impassioned Didar 1951, The Swashbuckling On 1952, Social Drama Dog 1952, The Dramatic Devdas 1955, The Comical Azad 1955, Nyador 1957, Yaudi 1958, Madhumadi 1958, Kohinoor 1960, The Epic Historical Mughal e Azam the social decoit crime drama Gunja Jamuna 1961, and the comedy Ram Aur Shyam 1967. In 1976, Dilip Kumar took a five-year break from film performances and returned with a character role in the film Kranti 1981 and continued his career playing leading roles in films such as Shakti 1982, Karma 1986, and Sadagar 1991. His last film was Keela 1998. He has won 9 Filmfare awards and is the first recipient of the Filmfare Best Actor Award 1954. Critics have acclaimed him as one of the greatest actors in the history of Indian cinema. Dilip Kumar had a long relationship with actress Madhubala but never married her. He married actress Sarah Bano, who is 22 years younger than him. He and his wife currently live in Bandra, Mumbai. Topic Early life Kumar was born Muhammad Yusuf Khan to Aisha Begum and Lala Ghulam Sarwar Ali Khan in a Muslim Hinko speaking Awan family of 12 children on of December 1922 at home in the Kisa Kawani Bazaar area of Peshawar, British India modern-day Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Pakistan. His father was a landlord and fruit merchant who owned orchards in Peshawar and Diolali. Muhammad Yusuf Khan was schooled at Barnes School, Diolali, Nashik. He grew up in the same religiously mixed neighborhood as Raj Kapoor, his childhood friend. In 1940, while still in his teens and after an altercation with his father, Muhammad Yusuf Khan left home for Pune, Pune, Maharashtra. With the help of a Parsi cafe owner and an elderly Anglo-Indian couple, Kumar met a canteen contractor. Without letting on his family antecedents, he got the job on the merit of his knowledge of good written and spoken English. He set up a sandwich stall at the army club and when the contract ended, he headed home to Mumbai, having saved 5,000 rupees. In 1942, anxious to start a venture to help his father with household finances, he met Dr. Masani at Church Gate Station, who asked him to accompany him to Bombay Takis, in Malad. There he met actress Devika Rani, owner of Bombay Takis, who asked him to sign up with the company on a salary of 1,250 rupees per month. There he met actor Ashok Kumar, who influenced his acting style by telling him to act natural. He also met Sashadar Mukherjee, and both of these people became close to Kumar over the years. Initially, Kumar helped out in the story writing and scripting department because of his proficiency in Urdu language. Devika Rani requested him to change his name to Dilip Kumar, and later cast him in a lead role for JWAR Bada 1944, which marked Kumar's entry into the Hindi film industry. Topic Career Topic Nineteen Forties Dilip Kumar's first film was JWAR Bata in nineteen forty four, which went unnoticed. After a few more unsuccessful films, it was Jugnu 1947, in which he starred alongside Noor Jahan, that became his first major hit at the box office. His next major hits were the 1948 films Shahid and Mela. He got his breakthrough role in 1949 with Mehboob Khan's Andaz, in which he starred alongside Raj Kapoor and Nargis. Shabnam also released that year was another box office hit. 1950s 
Kumar went on to have success in the 1950s playing leading roles in several box office hits such as Jogan 1950, Babool 1950, Hulchul 1951, Didar 1951, Dog 1952, Shikast 1953, Amar 1954, Yuran Kadola 1955, Insaniyat 1955 in which he co-starred with Dev Anand, Devdas 1955, Naya Dor 1957, Yaudi 1958, Madhu 1958 and Payam 1959. These films established his screen image as the tragedy king. Kumar briefly suffered from depression due to portraying many tragic roles. He also played light-hearted roles in an attempt to shed his tragedy king image upon his psychiatrist's suggestion such as in Mehboob Khan's big budget 1952 swashbuckling musical on. This marked his first film to be shot in Technicolor and to have a wide release across Europe with a lavish premiere in London. He had further success with lighter roles as a thief in the comedy Azad 1955, and as a royal prince in the romantic musical Kohinoor 1960. He was the first actor to win the Filmfare Best Actor Award for Dog and went on to win it a further seven times. He formed popular on-screen pairings with many of the top actresses at the time including Madhubala, Vijayanthamala, Nargis, Nimi, Meena Kumari and Kamini Kaushal. Nine of his films in the 1950s were ranked in the top 30 highest grossing films of the decade. In the 1950s, Dilip Kumar became the first actor to charge 1 lakh rupees equivalent to 75 lakh rupees or $100,000 in 2017 per film. Topic nineteen sixties. In nineteen sixty, he portrayed Prince Salim in Kaisif's big budget epic historical film Mughal e Azam, which was the highest grossing film in Indian film history for eleven years until it was surpassed by nineteen seventy one film Hadi Mir Sathi and later by the nineteen seventy five film Sholay. If adjusted for inflation, Mughal e Azam was the highest grossing Indian film through to the early 2010s, equivalent to over 1,000 crore rupees in 2011. The film told the story of Prince Salim, who revolts against his father Akbar, played by Prithviraj Kapoor, and falls in love with a courtesan, played by Madhubala. The film was mostly shot in black and white, with only some scenes in the latter half of the film shot in color. Forty-four years after its original release, it was fully colorized and re-released in 2004. In 1961, Kumar produced and starred in Ganga Jamuna opposite his frequent leading lady Vijayanthamala and his brother Nasir Khan. This was the only film he produced. In 1962 British director David Lean offered him the role of Sharif Ali in his film Lawrence of Arabia 1962, but Dilip Kumar declined to perform in the movie. The role eventually went to Omar Sharif, the Egyptian actor. Dilip Kumar comments in his much later released autobiography, He thought Omar Sharif had played the role far better than he himself could have. His next film Leader 1964 was a below average grocer at the box office. He was the co-director alongside Abdul Rashid Carter of his next release Dil Dia Dard Leah in 1966, but was uncredited as director. In 1967, Kumar played a dual role of twins separated at birth in the hit film Ram Awar Shyam. In 1968, he starred alongside Manoj Kumar and Wahida Rahman in Admi. That same year he starred in Sangarsh with Sanjeev Kumar. Topic: 1970s Kumar's career slumped in the 1970s with films like Dastan 1972 failing at the box office. He starred alongside his real-life wife Sarah Banu in Gopi 1970 which was success. They were paired again in his first and only Bengali-language film Sagina Mahato 1970. A Hindi remake Sagina was made in 1974 with the same cast. He played triple roles as a father and his twin sons in Barag 1976, which failed to do well at the box office. He personally regarded M. G. Ramachandran's performance in Enga Vitu Pillai better than his role in Ram Aur Shyam. He regards his performance in Barag much higher than that of Ram Aur Shyam. Although his performance in Barag and Gopi were critically acclaimed, he lost many film offers to act in leading roles to actors Rajesh Khanna and Sanjeev Kumar, from 1968 to 1987. 
He took a five-year hiatus from films from 1976 to 1981. Topic: 1980s. In 1981, he returned to films as a character actor playing central roles in ensemble films. His comeback film was the star-studded Cronny which was the biggest hit of the year. Appearing alongside an ensemble cast including Manoj Kumar, Shashi Kapoor, Hema Malini and Shatrugan Sinha, he played the title role as a revolutionary fighting for India's independence from British rule. He then successfully collaborated with director Subhash Guy starting with Vidhata 1982, in which he starred alongside Sanjay Dutt, Sanjeev Kumar and Shami Kapoor. Later that year he starred alongside Amitabh Bachchan in Ramesh Sippy's Shakti which was only a below average grocer at the box office, but won him critical acclaim and his eighth and final Filmfare Award for Best Actor. In 1984, he starred in Yash Chopra's social crime drama Mashal opposite Anil Kapoor which failed at the box office but his performance was critically acclaimed. He also appeared alongside Rishi Kapoor in Dunia and Jitandra in Dharm Adhikari his second collaboration with Subhash Guy came with the 1986 ensemble action film Karma. Karma marked the first film which paired him opposite fellow veteran actress Newton. Three decades earlier however, they were paired together in an incomplete and unreleased film titled Shikwa. He acted opposite Newton again in the 1989 film Kanoon APNA APNA. Topic. 1990s. In 1991, Kumar starred alongside fellow veteran actor Raj Kumar in Sadagar, his third and last film with director Subhash Guy. This was his second film with Raj Kumar after 1959's Payam. Sadagar was Kumar's last box office success. In 1993, he won the Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution to the industry for five decades. In 1992, producer Sudhakar Bokade announced a film titled Kalinga which would officially mark Kumar's directorial debut after he had allegedly previously ghost-directed Ganga Jamuna 1961 and Dil Dia Dard Lia 1967. Kumar was also set to star in the title role with the cast including Raj Babur, Raj Kiran, Amitoy Mann and Meenakshi Sashadri. After being delayed for several years, Kalinga was eventually left incomplete and shelved. In 1998, he made his last film appearance in the box office flop Kila, where he played dual roles as an evil landowner who is murdered and as his twin brother who tries to solve the mystery of his death. 2000s present In 2001, he was set to appear in a film titled ASAR, The Impact alongside Ajay Devgan, which was shelved. His classic films Mughal e Azam and Nyador were fully colorized and re-released in cinemas in 2004 and 2008 respectively. An unreleased film he had shot and completed in 1990 titled Og Ka Daria was set for a theatrical release in 2013 but has not been released to date. Public life Kumar was nominated as a member of the Rajya Sabha, the upper house of the Parliament of India, by the Indian National Congress for the period 2000 2006. Kumar launched his Twitter account and his first tweet was on his 89th birthday in 2011. Personal life Dilip Kumar had fallen in love with Madhubala during the shooting of Tarana. They remained in a relationship for seven years until the Nyador court case happened in which Dilip Kumar stood by the Chopras who had given evidence against Madhubala and her father, thus ended his relationship with Madhubala. They never worked together after the release of Mughal e Azam 1960. Madhubala died from a heart disease in 1969. Dilip Kumar married actress Sarah Banu in 1966, who was 22 years younger to him. He married a second time in 1981 to Hyderabad socialite ASMA Sahiba, but the marriage ended in January 1983. Dilip Kumar does not have any children. He is fluent in Urdu, Hindi, Hindko his first language, Bhojpuri, English, Bengali, Pashto, and Farsi. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Humanitarian work. Kumar has been involved with number of charitable and social initiatives. He planned and conceptualized the famous Joggers Park in Bandra, along with Sunil Dutt and Oliver Andrade. Kumar used his good offices to get the necessary clearances from the Maharashtra government for the establishment of this public park. Kumar donated a significant portion of his MPLAD fund towards the construction and improvement of the Bandstand Promenade in the gardens at Bandra Fort at Land's End in Bandra. Actors launched in Hindi film industry by Dilip Kumar Kumar has encouraged new talent in the Indian film industry. He believes that an actor does not necessarily have to bring any acting skill, rather a recognition that acting is all about not acting. Quote, Some of the talent identified by him who later on became big stars of their own include Mukri Aruna Irani Kader Khan Topic. Awards Dilip Kumar is widely considered one of the greatest actors in the history of Hindi cinema. He holds the Guinness World Record for winning the maximum number of awards by an Indian actor. He has received many awards throughout his career, including 10 Filmfare Awards for Best Actor and one Lifetime Achievement for Filmfare also for Special Recognition Filmfare Award for recognizing him as one first recipients to receive a Filmfare Award along with the Nightingale of India Lata Mangeshkar and one of the greatest Hindi music directors Naushad Ali at the 50th Filmfare Award Ceremony and along with 19 nominations at Filmfare for Best Actor. He was honored with the Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award in 1993. Gunja Jumna 1961, which he wrote, produced, and starred in, also received the National Film Award for Second Best Feature Film in Hindi, the Paul Revere Silver Bowl at the Boston International Film Festival, the Special Honor Diploma from the Czechoslovak Academy of Arts in Prague, and the Special Prize at the Karlovy Vary International Film Festival. Kumar was appointed Sheriff of Mumbai an honorary position in 1980. The Government of India honoured Kumar with the Padma Bhushan in 1991, the Dadasaheb Falk Award in 1994 and the Padma Vibhushan in 2015. The Government of Andhra Pradesh honoured Kumar with NTR National Award in 1997. The government of Pakistan conferred Kumar with nishan e imtiaz the highest civilian award in Pakistan, in 1998. The ruling political party of Shiv Sena in Maharashtra had objected to this award and questioned Kumar's patriotism. However, in 1999 in consultation with the then Prime Minister of India, Adil Bihari Vajpayee, Kumar retained the award. He was honoured with CNN Ibn Lifetime Achievement Award in 2009. <laughs> Recognition by Government of India The Government of India honoured him with 2015 India's second highest civilian award, the Padma Vibhushan, for his contributions towards Indian cinema 2000-2006 elected to Rajya Sabha, the Upper House of Indian Parliament 1994 Dadasaheb Phalke Award 1991 India's third highest civilian award, the Padma Bhushan, for his contributions towards Indian cinema 1979-1982 appointed as the Sheriff of Bombay by the Governor of Maharashtra, India for the period. <inaudible> Recognition by Government of Pakistan 1998 The Government of Pakistan honoured him with its highest civilian honour, the nishan e imtiaz Autobiography Dilip Kumar, The Substance and the Shadow as Narrated to Udayatara Nair was published in 2014 by Hay House Publishers India, Private Limited. Filmography Films that garnered Dilip the most recognition or awards include Topic. See also Aziz Mian